Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Talbot. I'm a researcher and educator who studies how lifestyle can influence our health and well-being. You can read about some of my research and my programs at my website, seantalbot.com, and in my new book, Vigor, Seven Days to Unlimited Energy, Focus, and Well-Being, at vigorbook.com. My master's degree is in exercise physiology, and my PhD is in nutritional biochemistry. And I tell you that because I want you to understand that it's our biochemistry and our physiology inside our bodies that drives how we feel and how we perform on a daily basis. So if we're feeling tired or stressed or depressed, or on the other hand, if we're feeling energetic, happy, and motivated, we feel those things because of our underlying biochemistry and physiology. The bad news for all of us is that the chronically stressful lives we lead can upset this biochemistry. So what should be in balance becomes unbalanced and leads us to feel fatigued and depressed. Factors such as stress from bills and traffic and deadlines and family issues and even a lack of sleep or poor diet can lead to biochemical imbalances that influence our energy levels, our mood, and how we feel and perform on a daily basis. The good news is that we can use natural methods, diet, exercise, supplements, to restore that biochemical balance and in doing so, restore our feelings of high energy and good mood back to where they used to be. I want to take just a few minutes to talk to you about two areas in which stress and metabolic imbalances can have profound impacts on our lives. These areas are fatigue and depression. Too many of us, millions upon millions of us, are dragging ourselves through every day of our lives in a state of constant low energy or fatigue and a bad mood or depression. In research studies, we can measure levels of fatigue and levels of depression, as well as levels of a related index, Vigor, that you can hear about in another video on this website. And we know that they all get worse when we're under chronic stress and when our bodies become unbalanced. Let's consider our national epidemic of chronic fatigue for a moment. How do you suppose it is that stress can cause us to be fatigued during the day, but also cause us to have trouble falling asleep at night? This dynamic duo of chronic fatigue and insomnia would logically seem to be opposite conditions. If you're so tired, why can't you fall asleep? But they're commonly found together in the two-thirds of the North American population who report experiencing chronic stress. The common element between these two conditions is chronic stress and the accompanying metabolic imbalance. When we're stressed out, we have trouble sleeping. And when we don't get enough sleep, our bodies perceive that lack of sleep as a stress and we experience the familiar metabolic imbalances that lead to poor health. If we look at the hormones in a person who's fatigued or stressed or sleep deprived, we see that cortisol levels are elevated and testosterone levels are suppressed. This is an example of metabolic imbalance. The short-term effects of metabolic imbalance are annoying side effects such as headaches and irritability but they can quickly become more severe over the long term to include depression, anxiety, confusion, and generalized mental and physical fatigue. But it's not just that stress leaves you feeling irritable. Research shows that even mild exposure to chronic stress can actually increase our risk for diabetes, obesity, and certain cancers. In many ways, chronic stress and the metabolic imbalance that stress causes is as bad for overall wellness as gorging on junk food or becoming a couch potato. As I mentioned before, stress and its metabolic imbalances can also lead us to become depressed. For virtually everybody, modern lifestyles create a fair amount of tension, irritability, worry, frustration, all of which can lead to feelings of chronic anxiety and depression. Mental health researchers from the University of Michigan have recently calculated that approximately 90% of episodes of depression are due directly to stressful life events. It also appears that lower levels of testosterone can exacerbate the depressive effects of cortisol, a stress hormone, during middle age. Researchers in Sweden have found that women with stress-related depression also have increased levels of cortisol and IL-6, which is a marker for inflammation from immune cells, suggesting that stress-induced depression might also affect immune function. 
Antidepressant drugs are among the most prescribed class of medications in North America, with more than 120 million prescriptions and over $80 billion in sales every single year. Antidepressant drugs are also among the most dangerous of all medications currently on the market. So dangerous, in fact, that the Food and Drug Administration requires these drugs to carry what is known as a black box warning. The black box warning is the FDA's most stringent warning carried on only the most dangerous drugs to alert patients and health practitioners to the long list of severe side effects, including death. The latest research, published in journals such as the Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA, tells us that most people, most people who are currently getting a prescription antidepressant drug don't need it because their drugs don't work very well or at all in cases of mild to moderate depression, which are typically caused by stress-induced metabolic imbalances. These drugs only work and have only been approved for use in cases of severe clinical depression, and they should be prescribed only in those cases. For the millions of people with depression caused by stress, a more appropriate and more effective and safer approach would be for them to restore a metabolic balance in their body. For people who prefer a natural approach to feeling better, there are many alternatives to drugs in the form of supplements, herbs, and combination products that may help alleviate anxiety, reduce depression, and modulate stress levels. The solution to boosting energy and alleviating depression, and even in restoring vigor, is either to avoid stress in your life, which is simply unrealistic, or to restore balance in your body. 